Welcome back to the Have You Seen a Podcast YouTube channel. My name is Mason Knight. Sitting across me is Cash Krause, and this is our YouTube exclusive American Cinema Trailer Reaction. So if you guys like what you see here, please be sure to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. So with that said, Cash, what are we reacting to today? Today, we are reacting to the long-awaited. Yes. Long-awaited uh, Top Gun 2 Maverick. Dare I say, is this is this tiptoeing into New Mutants? No, no, no. I'd say Morbius is close to the New Mutants. Uh, okay. No one goes into full New Mutant. You never go full New Mutant. It's just there have been so many delays for this cash. This film, I think, was initially set to release in 2019 or 20. I don't. It has had delay after delay. But I don't feel like it was reshoot delays. I right. felt like it, it was, was like, we just got to have the right moment, which there's no good moment for Top Gun 2, Maverick. No. <laughs> okay, just throw this fucking film out. And uh, people are probably going to go see it no matter what. I assume, I don't know, I don't know if there's any need or call for Top Gun 2. Yeah, it's really People weird. love Top Gun 1. Top Gun 1 is very mixed, actually. Yeah. It's a good film, but I don't know. I feel like you either love it or you're just it on it. Yeah, and that's kind of how I am in, in full honesty. Like, I just, I mean, yeah, I like Top Gun, but I'm not like a huge mega fan of Top Gun. I didn't need to see a second one, but <laughs> if it's good, it's good. You if know? you view Top yeah, Gun as Quentin Tarantino's <laughs> theory that it is a story about two men battling their homosexuality, it becomes a much more interesting <laughs> <Yes>. film. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd have to agree with that, especially with all those, you know, greased up volleyball players. Oh, the, you got to listen to, to uh, Quinn Tarantino talk about it because he is positive that that is what this film is about. Oh, really? And he, he has a whole theory that the woman in that, because they like shoehorn a woman character into mm. Top Gun, that she's the villain of the story. She's like trying to turn tear him apart. <laughs> it's, pretty, yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> That's awesome, uh, but not funny to him. He's uh, very serious about yeah. it. <laughs> of course, I'm sure film, he is. he's very serious. But uh, but I, I fe that's my fear is it's not going to be any uh, shirtless dudes in fucking doing volleyball yeah. and like being like very homoerotic. Yeah, because it's gonna be weird at this point. Tom Cruise is 83. He can't be lubing up with these young well, guys how about anymore. Val Kilmer too, man. He's not gonna be in this, is he? I think so. Oh, can we? If it is, Val then Kilmer's it's in this film. Yeah, it says it, dude. It's going to be maybe a flashback or half a second. The dude is unfortunately yeah. in pretty rough shape. You know, uh, I can't imagine he's still flying jets. Probably not. I would say <laughs> okay, no. Yeah. On that. Of course, you wouldn't think Tom Cruise would be flying jets still at this point. But I think he's no. the whole story is he's an instructor now. Mm -hmm. He's well, teaching his old partner's son. And it, I mean, it's got it's got a big cast, and it's got Miles Teller, Jennifer Connelly, John Hamm, Glenn Powell. I know. So I mean, it's it's a big cast, obviously. Produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, yep. biggest in the biz, and Tom Cruise is getting his piece. Of course, oh, he's got to do a little kickback to Scientology. Oh, for sure. Oh, little kickback. Probably seventy five percent of his parents <laughs> goes to Scientology. How else are they going to bring old Ron Hubbard back? I know. It takes money. I've been waiting. Patiently. Well, you got to pay Ron. to play, my guy. Well, you want to see El Ronnie back? Hey, other Chip people can in. pay for me. No, no, I'm not going to. You're not going to get the full effect, then? Don't care that much. <laughs> I got a feeling El Ron Hubbard starts walking the streets again. You're going to be pretty interested. That is true. I might sign up. <laughs> yeah, I have to at that point. Anyways, no idea what this is going to about. I mean, what was top, What was the first Top Gun about? They didn't go to war. No. They were just they training. Yeah. yeah, that was it. Uh, the film set to release May 27, 2022. If there's not yet another delay on this, the budget was set for $152 million as well. So they spent a lot of cash on this film. The big name for me, you didn't mention, but Ed Harris Han is in this. Oh, I thought you were going to say Hans Zimmer is on the music, but that's pretty awesome too. Yeah. That is pretty awesome. Yep. Hans Zimmer. He's fucking great, but uh, did he do the first Top Gun? <laughs> I can't remember. Does not seem like a movie yeah, for Hans Zimmer to do. I can't remember if I'm being honest. I don't think so. Maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe. You know, didn't care that much to you know do the research on that. Yeah. All right. Uh, I love Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course. All right. Here we go. Let's jump into this. Here is Top Gun Maverick. Here we go. In three, two, Whoa. one. What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? Every 
Everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they gonna get to teach us? <laughs> There's no one. There's no one. God. No way. To be any more egocentric. Captain <laughs> Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You are here at the request no. of Admiral Kazansky, AKA- That's Oscar. the most you're gonna get out of You have something There's left your to cameo. offer the What that is, I can't imagine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. I'm a scientist. I just want to manage expectations. <laughs> I'm a scientist. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. And we're off. Here we go. In three, two, one. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. What? My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Okay. Someone's not coming back from this. Those are your pilots. Oh! Hey, we get but it. there's women in it. You know what I mean? You will never forgive yourself. No turning back now. Yet. That would be a twist if they actually fought someone. It would be. I feel like there's so much training going on here. It's there a 98% a lot of training. training. It looks like they're teasing that they might actually go in some action there. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Who really does know? I feel like he's too old to be throwing Tom Cruise in the in the fighter the pilot zone. Action. Yeah, <laughs> in his <laughs> mid fifties. Yeah, you know, who are we fighting too? I. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now. I know for a fact that's not China because did you hear about the whole Taiwan thing? I guess in the original he had a Taiwan patch, and then in this. He had that same Taiwan patch, and then they had to go back and do reshoots oh. and remove the Taiwan flag. Who's it going to be then? I guess probably Russia. It's got to be Russia. Yeah, yeah that's the, of course. <laughs> Although getting into a dog fight, with, with <laughs> you think it would make news, I guess, or so, uh, you would think? <laughs> oh, maybe Iran. That's, I don't know. Yeah, you know. That, would, that would go unnoticed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I mean, Tom Cruise, he's, he's proved me wrong time after time. He doesn't really do bad movies. I mean, recently he's he's had. I've actually really enjoyed the Mission Impossible's as of late. Yeah, well, yeah, they've only gotten better, but he's not. He's he's only done uh, or continue to do pretty good stuff. Everything he's done recently has been pretty good. Yeah, as crazy as he might be. Oh, he's a crazy man, but I got to respect his film. Crazy as a loon. It's so but, crazy. Uh, like not too many of American actors have their own filmography Wikipedia, but uh of course he does. The guy never stops working. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's crazy. Okay, the mummy sucked. Yeah, that's that true. was his bad one. But for American sure. Made I liked. I thought that one was pretty American good. American Made was pretty good. Mission Impossible was good. I guess he hasn't had that many great films. Edge of Tomorrow Edge was of Tomorrow fucking was awesome. awesome. He had a good run where Oblivion was really good, super underrated. Edge of Tomorrow was incredibly underrated. But he had a good Oblivion, Edge of Tomorrow, and then Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. That's a good three movies in a row. Well, Rogue and, Nation was awesome. To, oh, my God. We got to wait till 2023 to get Mission Impossible 7. I feel like it's such a long wait, man. I mean, 2018 to 2023, that's five years. But then you're getting one back-to-back, back back, which back, has yeah. never happened. That'll be fun. They must be filming those back-to-back. -back. They have to be. I, I've heard some of the crazy shit they're doing filming. I guess they're filming in space. One scene is like they actually are. I thought that wasn't space. that was. I thought that wasn't a Mission Impossible scene. I thought that was a, a different movie in space. No, I'm pretty sure it's Mission Impossible. Is where they're up there. I might he's, be wrong, but I mean, he's definitely filming another movie in in space. I mean, like a, a film that's just based around space. Oh shit! Yeah, of course, man. Like he, he wants to die. Yeah, he wants to meet El Ronnie in the afterlife. He does. He's gonna be sorely disappointed. Yeah, he will be. <laughs> I can tell you that much. When it's just him and El Ron Hubbard sitting in hell. <laughs> 
because you know, world you L. Ron Hubbard, you want to follow as a cool leader. You don't want to be stuck in a room with him for uh, eternity. <laughs> no, no, grubby little man, <laughs> grubby little boss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all righty, everyone. That is our reaction to Top Gun Maverick. If you guys like what you've seen here, please be sure to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. And thank you so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. And until next time. Bye. Bye.